Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing amazing today. Hope you're having a beautiful day and we're going to hop right into this reading. It's going to be collective. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Let's hop right into it. What messages to deliver? Wow, okay. We had one do a flip and then a flip back. Let's just see what it was. Five of cups in reverse. Maybe feeling left out in the cold for some of you. Let's see what this has to do with. Okay. So there you are. This is what you need to worry about. This is the mindset that you are embodying. Keep moving forward right now. You could feel left out in the cold when it comes to love. Specifically, you could have been dealing with an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or if not, a fire sign. Got a little bit of air energy there. Look, it came out. That's crazy. So just feeling left out in the cold. Okay, let's get a few clarifiers for these. Could have been dealing with someone really toxic. Ten of Cups. Definitely someone who you thought maybe it was a long-term connection with, but it ended up being just a very unstable connection. Temperance in reverse. No balance in a situation. Uneven reciprocity. This person could have been taking from you. It's like they weren't giving to you in the connection. They were holding back when it comes to not only their emotions, but like say you lived with this person or you're in a long-term connection. They were holding back their finances, their their love, and just like their sense of you feeling like you were in a stable connection. Now, it seems like this person wasn't always this way, so this could have been what thrown you off. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Look at that. Holding back their finances. So the person you're dealing with is very successful, but it's like they're holding you back from being successful or happy yourself. Page of Cups, they want you to feel like you don't have enough to offer. Now, I'm not sure if it's they don't want you to feel like you have enough to offer them or someone else. Let's get a clarifier. Queen of Swords was flipped over there in the deck, so possibly an air sign. And this could have been someone they were dealing with as well. Okay, let's see what we've got. Quite a few came out. So page of wands in reverse. This person feels like they're blocked when it comes to a connection with you. They definitely feel like they want to be able to be passionate with you, but they are blocked. They see you as someone who is trying to build, get away from the situation, and definitely no longer giving love to someone who has left you out in the cold. Now, it's almost like for some of you, you really see this person truly now for who they are. If you were dealing with someone who is trying to block you like you're the empress you're bodying that energy but with it in reverse it's like someone didn't want you to feel successful like you had a lot going for you they wanted you to feel like you had minimum and that's in love in in life in your opportunities in your friendships like every area of it definitely in finances though an overall sense of happiness like a long-term connection with someone so I feel like this is someone you walked away from and they really are trying hard to stop you from balancing out your life and moving forward since you've left this connection. So take it how it resonates for you, but this definitely could have been someone you dated in the past or someone you used to be connected to in the past with the Ace of Cups in reverse. It was like that situation, there was no love in it. So whether you dated this person or they were just interested in you and you didn't give them the time of day. This person's trying to kind of hold you back now. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Capricorn. We've got all earth signs, all water signs, all air signs. So quite a few signs on the board. And with the Empress, you could be a Libra or a Taurus. And if not, you're just embodying that energy. So don't let any distortion happen. This is the main message. That's the, the final card there. And really just signifying that you have the ability to not feel stuck in any situation that you currently feel is holding you back. Things will balance out once you realize that you have an ability to walk away from these situations. And for some of you, it's going to require to use some sort of truth, whether this is just like a final goodbye with someone from your past that's trying to hold you back or just that closure sense is really what I'm getting. Now, this could apply to whoever this third party person is and this other person. Now, mainly it's like an ex person is what I'm getting. 
just wanting to hold you back. I don't see much new love in this spread. So this will more apply for someone who's trying to move forward in your life and you feel like you have the past trying to call you back in or hold you back from just like moving on with your life. Now with the four of cups, biggest message is not to stay in that mindset feeling lack. Make sure you just keep pushing forward because right now you have the strength needed to do so. So let's see if we can get an angel message. We'll do an oracle card here. Any advice for this collective reading? Biggest thing is they're going to give you solutions on how to push forward and be able to heal past this situation. This person could have even been speaking on you, though, trying to really block new people from coming into your life like new love. That's the biggest feeling I get from this reading. And so you've been at home in the cold for a long time, possibly wondering, wow. And here you go. Look at that. So first message says you're not for everyone. Embrace that weirdness and face it. So they want you to accept the fact that you are a beautiful, unique individual with many, many, many amazing qualities about you to offer to a partner. And so if this person is trying to hold you back, have that conversation, say, look, like, we need to put some boundaries in place. Like, let them know it's not okay to try and prevent you from moving forward just because they want to hold on to you. Because this relationship, you can tell there was no love in it. So this other one, okay, it's upside down. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So beautiful if you've been feeling depleted in energy, anxious, or emotional even like out of sorts in any sort of way get that rest needed spend a little bit of time on you and you will absolutely feel 100% better and it's gonna help bring a little bit of clarity into this situation as well it's almost like you're gonna receive a solution to things you felt like you no longer were able to process whether you feel like this person's just really blocked you from moving forward for a long time you know your situation but ultimately feeling like you don't have anyone who's interested in you or seeing like your full potential. They see you as a page and it's more that this energy of this past person embodies just immature, not ready for full commitment. And so if you're someone who is looking for that, keep on going on your path. Just know that you're being guided towards like a better direction. One that you're going to feel a true loving partner and not someone who wants to hold you back because even in true unconditional love no one would want to hold you back from your happiness so to see the ten of cups and ace of cups both in reverse it's just like a really distorted past person that you dated like this ex-partner had not the best intentions for you and whether or not they did when you were dating that's a different story but it looks like somehow you broke up split up and things were very unbalanced from that moment forward, this person trying to prevent you from having a ten of cups, from feeling happy every day, from having ace of cups, an ultimate soulmate, wish fulfillment. So really feel the vibe that this person was in a low toxic vibrational behavior, non-committal, but wanting to hold on to you at the same time. It's like they didn't want to commit to you, but they didn't want you to be in another relationship with someone else. And they definitely didn't want you to feel abundant and successful without them. It's almost like they wanted you to hold on to the feeling that you once had with them and feel like there's no new opportunities for growth in your life. So know that this is all an illusion. You are in sitting in the queen of pentacles mode. And if you are a masculine, got that king of pentacles then for you. And it just really signifies you are about to make some boss moves. Keep moving forward. Keep working on yourself, your career, and the relationships that you do still have in your life. Make those ones count and really just make sure you remember that you have a lot going for you. And even if it seems like someone's trying to hold you back from a new start, that is just an illusion and you're able to walk away from any conflicts at this time. So we're going to do a couple love messages. This can either be from someone on your mind or maybe this past person. Take it how it resonates for you. But remember, they're love messages and some are in separation. So only just take what resonates. So any messages from the person on collective's mind? Since this ended up being a love reading. Okay, so this one stayed in my hands. I can't let you go. Wow. 
That is so weird. Spirit works in the weirdest ways. Because, like, I'm literally shuffling. And the one stays. Okay. So, let's see what else is here. All right. Aw. So, this one's always sweet when it comes out. Take it out. Resonates for you. But it says, I'm thinking about you at this exact moment. So, whoever's on your mind, whether this be this past person or someone else, they are thinking about you right now. And we've got, I want to be much more than friends. So there you go. You could have someone possibly that you or them have friend zoned each other. But this is someone who actually maybe this person knows what you've been through in the past. And so they really want to come in and bring you a love offer. They could be watching you healing, watching you growing and changing as a person, waiting for the right time, waiting for that cycle to end where you come out of like being in seclusion. Because for some of you, this is past energy. You realize now that someone else was trying to block you from having these things. It's almost like the illusion's over now. You're able to really just like see what the focus is. It's you and anything that's trying to impede your growth as an individual, as a person, has got to be removed from your life because you got to keep moving forward at this time collective. And you're being given the divine guidance absolutely to do so, to really feel a sense of balance again in your life where it had been taken away from you it really looks like purposely this past person or someone in your life was trying to make you feel imbalanced and once you see it for what it is you have an ability to be clear-headed again and keep moving forward and not letting anything or anyone block your success your happiness and most importantly you from feeling like an empress or an emperor like you've got a lot going for you right now so this is beautiful energy to be in. Wow. So let's get an angel message to close the reading. Okay. Wow. First one says new love is about to enter your life. You will find qualities in this new person you've been looking for in others. Expect a match made from heaven. So that is beautiful. And one more message. There are too many secrets. So this is definitely probably that past energy. Someone may be purposely withholding information from you at this time. Trust your intuition and take off those rose colored glasses. Exactly. So there's something about this situation you don't know. Possibly like this past energy. Has someone else trying to block you from moving forward, keeping tabs on you? Be aware of this energy. It's time for you <clears throat> to not let anything hold you back and really just like catapult yourself forward into this new cycle. So that's beautiful. New love is coming for you, collective. Just make sure you let go of the past and realize that something or someone you've been dealing with, there's just too much unknown too many things that have been withheld from you and possibly like blocked from you people tried to stop and take from you and all to do with this past person so this person you dealt with was definitely in low vibrational energy definitely could have been a capricorn or a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces those are the main signs we've got on the board a lot of cup energy and i really feel like you could have been either a libra a taurus a gemini or Aquarius. So we're going to leave that reading there. Just know that brighter days are ahead. New love is around the corner. It's like as new days come in, new cycles begin. As you heal collective, that new love will come knocking on your door. So thank you so much for watching. Just know better days are ahead. Sending light and blessings to each and every one of you. Take care.